many questions about the materials I use for my alcohol ink artwork so I'm going to show you today what I use and which surfaces and which brands of inks in my artwork so I'm gonna start with surface you need something that doesn't absorb the alcohol that you can play with your ink of course so the watercolor paper is not good at all because it, it absorbs all the alcohol so you can't play with your ink and um, what is available now in the market is Yupo papers or you can use Nara papers they're all synthetic paper so um, you can just it's like this it's like a sheet of plastic or I get so many questions about this surface this is an uh, artboard from artboard.ru uh, I guess it's from Russia there is another company in Germany that you can buy it from it's candy Depon, I guess they are also perfect it's laminated wood I guess it's also perfect for ink and I did my large art box on this this one if you can see it this one is also in this artboard they're perfect because you don't need to mount your paper uh, on another wooden board so it's easy you can just finish it with your varnish or I use resin normally you can also use a tile you know it's so good you can just play with your ink so easily on a tile mm, let me show you this one is a piece of glass so you can use whatever that doesn't absorb your ink as your surface it doesn't matter what you can also use a um, photo paper I mean I showed you in a few days ago I made these cards these are photo paper I didn't clean it yet but they are also perfect for your alcohol link artworks so these are the surfaces I use normally uh, this one is also on UPO paper I just Cut it round, mounted it on this wooden board, and just coated it with resin. So, another thing you need is, of course, ink. These inks are perfect, perfect quality, but they are expensive. I mean, expensive than other ones. This one is high quality, this one is perfect, but also not that cheap. Uh, this one is affordable and the quality is also good. This is Pinata. This one is Octopus Flute. This one is Copic. I also bought some inks from Candy Dipping and they're also good. Um, for the gold. I guess this is one of the best gold in the market. This gold is awesome. Just look at this. And the brass from Pinata is also perfect. I'm gonna show you another artwork of brass. And this one. You need, of course, rubbing alcohol. I use this one. It is cheap on Amazon. You can buy six bottles for 36 euro, I guess. Another thing you need is a tool to uh, play with your ink. I mean, you can use different things. This is a hair dryer. It, doesn't look good because I used to use it for my um, acrylic pour but it's perfect you know it shouldn't be that hot because 
you for paper is plastic if it's too hot it's gonna melt your paper so you need to be really careful you can also use um, this is a heat gun I also use this one with the lowest temperature <coughs> I don't want to melt my paper or uh, you don't want your alcohol to dry so fast you can also use a straw it's the easiest way and I'm going to show you now how can you get different results with each of these tools on each surface I'm, I'm not gonna do it on each surface now but I'm going to try on a tile so I use these small boys for my alcohol because it's just easier to use so oh, I want to show you this one too I have also some markers these are alcohol ink markers I don't use them that much but uh, they're not bad as a beginner you can just start with these ones so I'm going to show you what kind of result you get with each uh, tool so I can use my brown here So each artist has his own technique. I mean, some artists they mix the ink and alcohol in a glass and just pour it then on the surface. But it's not kind of. I don't prefer it. I like to just pour it alcohol first, then ink, and start working. You get this result with a straw and I'm gonna use a um, hair dryer now. So, this result you get with the hair dryer. And I'm going to use my heat gun now. And you get this result with heat gun. It's my favorite tool to use. You can also use a brush. I'm gonna show you here how to use a brush.
this is the result with a brush so it depends on you what kind of technique you want to use but the ink is the same alcohol is the same you can use just different surfaces and different tools to get different results I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful if you have any kind of question just ask me here and before I forget um, to varnish your artwork alcohol ink you can just remove it so easily so <laughs> not from this one <laughs> but what I recommend I mean what I've seen um, everyone use is going to show you here because I don't have one so this this is the perfect varnish for alcohol ink I hope you can see it um, just try to use more layers I mean not just ones of just try to spray it more than three times or four times and then use another um, UV protect varnish so there is also one from Thailand Let's see. Um, this one it's UV resistant clear coating just use afterwards after the other varnish to protect your artwork and that's it hope you enjoyed